scheme, featuring several different designs, with a portion going directly to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Check out their store at theyeti.com slash agdq. That's T-H-E-Y-E-T-E-E dot com slash agdq. Thank you very much, Arrow169, for the $50 donation. That Kingdom Hearts run was awesome. Loving the event, and keep up the great work. Save the animals. Thank you very much, Amadeus144, for the $100 donation. That was a great Kingdom Hearts run. $100 to EG Pacifist run. Save the Tazin. Thank you very much, Dooms13, for the $10 donation. When I watched Mecha Richter and PJ run this, run this game with developers commenting last year, I laughed till I forgot about my troubles at the time, and everything was forgotten about. It made my day much brighter. Never change, PJ and Mecha Richter. Thank you very much, Rogue Cube Sacant, for the $50 donation. Thanks for everything you all are doing. Not sure how much I'll be able to donate this time around, but it's always fun to watch regardless. Keep up the good work. How do you mash on this? What? Dizzy. <laughs> Get on my level, dude. I can't. I can't. All right, we should start. Yeah, <laughs> we shouldn't be allowed. Yeah, obviously. the last game we played. Actually, uh, to be. Huh? Yeah, we're getting bad ideas. Yeah, we no, need to... no, don't. don't hmm. even. I'm gonna hide it. Oh yeah, I know what you're thinking. I don't think we've tried it there. No, but I don't think we can. If we get a block in here. Yeah, if we get. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Routing in the lobbies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Ratman J, for the $200 donation. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. <laughs> Cheating. Oh, please, that's nothing. Thank you very much, Kyle and Paige, for the $150 donation. My Goal. sister and I played games together all the time growing up. She's at college and I'm working these days, so we don't get to enjoy great games together very often. Luckily, Bubble? we have GDQ for memorable games, great runs, and even better causes. <laughs> Good RNG and many iframes to all the runners this week. Save the animals. <laughs> Every time you hit it, the ball breaks. <laughs> Keep it over here. Nope. No. <laughs> Abandon ship? Yep. Abandon ship. <laughs> What's that? Hi, devs. Hi, devs. Hello? Stamper? Hello? Stamper. I guess he left. Hello? Yep. Hello? 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 Hello. Hello. Hey. Oh. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we have everything in place now. Yep. Yes. 
Yes? Okay, cool. Huzzah. Um, kind of hoping I picked in the same ready. mode. Ready when you are. Sure. All right. Three, two, one, start. Yeah, we did it. Woo. You exited the lobby, a new record. All right, so, hi. Uh, this is Battle Black Theater. Uh, I'm PJ. I'm Mecha Richter. Find the gems to whisk you away and I, I think Stamper's still on the line. I, I am. Can you hear me? I yep. can. Yep. So, go, go on. <laughs> Don't be shy. All right, all right. <laughs> so, um, this year we're going to be running. Uh, I, <laughs> um, technical. I'm, I'm, work, I'm working out some technical things on my side. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this year we're going to be running uh, what we call any percent. Well, what the speedrunning community calls 90%. Uh, we're going to be collecting the minimum that we need to beat the game. Uh, we are playing on a... I have a frog equipped. Uh, we are playing on a finished file, so technically we could just go like straight to chapter 8 and end it, but um, we're going to play through all the stages that you would normally have to play through on a fresh save. Uh, so we're not going to be doing any of the encores, and in each stage we're only going to be collecting... Well, we're only going to be <laughs> aiming to collect three gems. We're probably going to end up collecting more. Room for improvement. So, the first two chapters are relatively straightforward. Um, but, to mix things up and make this more challenging, we're playing on Insane Mode. And, uh... It's a good start. So this is what Insane Mode does. Yep. <laughs> um, anytime either of us die, the entire stage resets, and we have to do it all over again. So, we're going to have to beat uh, every stage without dying. Not all in a row. This cat. But... All right. I'm gonna let you handle this. So, uh, one neat feature of Insane Mode is that if the level's already completed, so my character went in the exit there, um, if the level's already completed and I die, then it just cuts immediately to the score tally screen. So, it's not necessary for both of us to complete the stage. One person can just die after the other person uh, completes the level. So for a lot of the stages here, we're just going to be splitting up uh, because there's no benefit to both of us reaching the end. So, Are you done with the instruction manual? Just play the game, man. <laughs> yeah, I've got... No, I got the instruction manual. It's right here. It's, uh, it's over there. People are stupid. They can see what you're doing. No. <laughs> Hold on, I'll, I'll hold it up, we're good. See? We got it. It's a manual, it's even... you up yet? It's got colors. The worst is yet to come, it's coming, <laughs> my friend. The best part is, I just, I just get to sit here and watch. Oh yeah. <laughs> you missed some things. And you did miss some things. Nah. <laughs> No, it's just you had the wrong the wrong stamp card. There were only three gems in that stage. You just you only had the stamp card that had the seven spots. All right, so we might be seeing some uh, some familiar tricks uh, for anybody who watched uh, last year's run or really any other any other runs that we've done since then. Um, oh, that shouldn't have worked. <laughs> <laughs> So that, uh, that's an energy ball boost. Uh, the energy ball is a pretty powerful tool in this game. Um, you can use it to blast your partner or cats or dodgeballs or boomerangs or anything you want if you hit, a, hit it directly. Um, what we're able to do is just walk like right next to a wall and then just blow it up right there. And uh, we get a tremendous amount of fight, which is really good for getting through the game quickly. Uh, it has some other... <laughs> other unique things that we'll get to later. But, yeah, Energy Ball is a really good weapon. We're going to be using it pretty much consistently all the way through this game. Alright, 
What made you two decide to take on insane mode after working on 100% for the first part? Um, we make bad decisions. Okay, valid. Yeah. Yep, valid. Pretty much. Yeah, so we wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we wanted to show off any percent this time instead of uh, 100%. 100% I, I enjoy more as a category, but uh, any percent has some really unique things that you don't get to see in 100%. But, uh, such as? Such as? Uh, it's spoilers. Uh, there's some there's some cool things that you'll see. The next chapter has the first one. I don't want to ruin it for you, because then you'll just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just gotta lead them along but, like that. Right, right. So the reason why we went to that stage and uh, went to the secret stage and immediately exited is because um, if you go into the, uh, the secret area and immediately exit, it counts as finishing the stage. Yeah, the, so. the secret stages are interesting in this game. Um, there's one secret stage per chapter, and it's in a different stage in each chapter. Um, in the moment that you complete or you enter a secret stage, the game actually awards you a uh, score for the normal stage. No. Yes. Do it. Oh, no. No, no right. No. <laughs> Abort. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so it technically gives you a score, and then you can just exit out of the stage in the secret stage, because you already have the score on, uh, on the normal stage, which opens up the next one. So, yeah, that's, that's why we do that. And I think we play three secret stages in this run. Uh, Probably. I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it, yeah. Uh, it looks like five. Five stages. Five? Yeah. We do this one. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so cats in a game are... <laughs> cats in this game are a problem. Unless they do that, then they're really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, cats, cats are extremely unpredictable. And some of them will like walk near you and then just drown. And then others will just like <clears throat> pretend they're not paying attention and then just slug you and kill you. What about uh, paying attention? What's that? You said something about paying attention. No. No, you're good, man. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> Do it. No, give, me two, give me two seconds. I'm seriously having a problem over here. I can't. I'm not allowed to swear, and I want to swear. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying my give me, give me like two minutes, all right? I love you guys so much. <laughs> Try your best. Are we keeping Truly. are we keeping track of deaths? Someone someone doing that? Two. I, uh, I think there's two. I will keep track and then add many more just to make you feel bad. Time. Okay. All right. Yeah, with how this is going so far, we'd need something to record it. Don't think the memorization's gonna work. No. All right. So the finales, uh, the finales work a little bit differently than the normal stages. Um, if you die in the second finale, you don't have to redo the first one because of insane mode. Uh, but you do, you do have to redo the stage that you're currently in. Um, but the second finale stage of each chapter doesn't actually require any gems at all. It just has a key that's floating there and you grab it and then that's it. Uh, so we don't have to grab anything here if we don't want. But since we started running this game the first time uh, with the 100% category, it's pretty hard for us to pass up gems. <laughs> yeah, early on we were like grabbing everything we, we didn't need to. Yep. Yeah, we finished the stage and have like six gems and a yarn. Did we do it? Did we get enough? Oh, in case you're wondering, uh, the, the screen that you're seeing is Mecha Richter's screen. Um, he is controlling the triangle faces, and I'm the blockhead. You sure are. Confirm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm back. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. yep. We're here. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yes. Okay. We did it. One chapter down. You sure know how to make the best of a confusing and hopeless situation, but boy, this place is quite the... <laughs> I remember so, that. I am so glad you skipped that. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> it's so disorienting, like, hearing you in the game and then hearing you in not the game. 
because it doesn't register. I've, I'm so used to just tuning you out completely that when I, when I hear your voice, it's just like... That's what my mom said on her deathbed. My mom said the same thing. Make jokes at the same time. Excellent. Nice stage. I like that somehow you still figured out how to death abuse in a category where yep. you're not allowed to die. Yep. Yeah, in a category that resets the stage if you die. Yep. Yeah. It's important. Yeah, it actually it saves a, a significant amount of time. It's pretty silly, but it actually does. Like when we first found that out, we were like, shoot. Does this mean insane mode is going to be faster just because in every stage you get to just suicide and skip that whole end thing? But uh, nope, extremely not. <laughs> so the, the thing about this category is that in some stages we are like we simply can't use the fastest strats because they're really really risky. Uh, so we do have to make a trade-off, like a, a safety and speed trade-off. So we're going to be doing a lot of really stupid strats that have a good chance of killing us, but not all of them. Oh, go on? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, ha I, had, to get, I had to get my magical roommates to stop downloading magical things. <laughs> 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 Everything's good to go now. <laughs> we can only... Uh, hope. we're missing a cat. Yeah. We'll come back later. I thought, did we do chapter one right, and three? Friends, yeah. Six. Five. I might be wrong, I don't know. Four. Yeah, no, we do do five. Wow. Oh. I'm glad you're on top of this. That should be concerning. Oh, this block is familiar. <laughs> stage. So, this stage just reminded me, I should probably, I should probably let y'all know what's <laughs> going on here. Um, so even though we're sitting right next to each other, we are actually playing online, because uh, there are certain tricks that I'll be doing that, uh, that only work when you play online. It doesn't work if you play local. Yeah. Um, you embarrassed us really good last year, I remember that. <laughs> Go on. So, um, <laughs> This year we had to use an interesting setup because we're having problems getting things to work normally. Continue, so please. AKA I work badly enough. Uh, Mecha is connected normally, and I am connected through a phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually using I'm using a, a I'm tethered to phone's internet right now and playing this game. Oh, like a hotspot. Yep. So in, in most of these stages, when we split up, um, it's best to have Mecha Richter just go ahead instead of me. Well, rather to have the host go ahead, which happens to be Mecha Richter. Uh, because the client has issues using items in this game. <laughs> also, you're a coward, but that's fine. Well, that's right, yeah. <laughs> that's why when we were first choosing the roles, I said, fine, I'll be the client, I got this. It's gonna I be fine. I you guys are still doing the, uh, you're swapping heads every round. It's like, good luck for you, right? <laughs> yeah, we have to. We have to. It's like a third of the game. Yeah, I gotta keep things, keep things interesting. All right, so Stamper, you were wondering what's going on here. What we can't show off in, uh, in 100%. So this is the first stage that, uh, that you'll see it in. Um. <laughs> Just wait for it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is a bad laser cycle. Ooh. Yeah, you're good. Go on. So, uh, <laughs> what we just did there is we erased a block by pushing another block into it and then letting it go. 
<laughs> and we uh, we made a new exit. Just dig through the wall. So the stage is somewhat long. I mean, it's not terribly long. It's like only moderately faster to do it that way, but it's a lot more fun. So we, we the good like to thing is, that. it's not my problem. I, I don't care. I, I just voiced it. <laughs> those guys. Hey, uh, you guys see how you could walk through walls in the game? You're paying attention. I'd love to tell you where they put the gems, but I'm not gonna. It wouldn't be PJ and Mecca if they didn't break things terribly. Yeah, it's fascinating. <laughs> All right. Hero Cat didn't get us this time. The cats in this stage in particular are like really, really aggressive. And they'll either just like fall immediately in the water and be out of your way, or they'll just kill you. You'll like jump and then they anti-air you straight into the <laughs> yeah. puddle. You're like, well, all right, well played. I've there, got no answer to that. There was this one cat. Uh, we can't, we can't tell you what the boost is called, <laughs> but um, he just like uppercutted him right into a missile. Yeah, yeah, that was cute. So there's one reason why we need lag. Yeah, the client, the client can put blocks in interesting places. Um, pretty much anywhere he wants, which is, which is pretty neat. And that's why we were able to do the, uh, that wall deletion trick. Um, but yeah, you, you normally, like, once you grab a block, you're tethered to it, and you can't move, and, like, you're a two-tile wide unit at that point. So you can't move in, uh, one-tile gaps. But the client can just <laughs> shove a block in there, and, uh, it's just great. Uh, I agree. I would just like to point out that their connection is so bad at home playing together that it took whoa, a whoa, wireless so bad. spot on a phone to recreate it. This is still better than when I PJ think, plays it at home. I, I think you mean our connection at home is so innovative <laughs> that it required significant engineering to match it. You're not allowed to use That's the word exactly innovative. Well, how do you think it feels for me? I'm, I'm watching on a bad connection, and so I'm watching you do things by breaking bad connections through a bad connection, hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> we actually don't even know why this stuff works. Because we were testing it, and we got pretty much the worst connection you can possibly get, and it functioned perfectly. And then uh, this method somehow worked the way we wanted it to. I'm not really sure how it works. We just know how to get it to work. And that's, I don't know that's how much time you guys wasted, but hey. Please don't die. A wasted's a bad term. Spent. Spent. <laughs> Invested. 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 <laughs> See, there you go. There you go. Invested. We didn't say the ROI was high. We just said there's an investment. It comes. I think we right. good things and not dumb and stupid things. <laughs> oh, so this is a uh, this is Speaking an of dumb and stupid things. Mm -hmm. So uh, spike platforms only have a hitbox. Well, okay, they have a hitbox for the entire thing except for the very last pixel. Uh, so right. we're able to do these uh, these spike jumps off of them. Uh, it's really, really useful. It's pretty dangerous in insane mode because if we miss it, then you know we're dead and the whole stage ends. But don't miss it. Don't miss <laughs> it. Uh, there are setups to get him 100% of the time, though. This cat oh, is going to be a problem. Boost. Oh wait. Oh wait. I might be able to get nice. cat boost. No, okay. Nicely done. <sighs> Thank you. Are you James this Bond? Maybe. Or is that the other guy? Is that the martini face? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so in a lot of these stages, like right now, I'm not needed anymore. So I'm just staying up here to give Mecha Richter a, uh, a more workable camera, because these cannons are scary. Pick your favorite stop. <laughs> 
All right. Did we did we die there? Nope. No. Nope. Sweet. Huh. Good chapter. That might be too. the first time. Probably the first. Yeah. Time. I'm sure you'll make up for it later. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. No. Yeah. No. Chapter six is gonna show us what for. I was clapping, but I, I think I got drowned out by the in-game clapping. <laughs> Alright, we lost a couple seconds there, because I had to hear a butt salad. <laughs> <laughs> it's important for the rest. It rounds. is. The morale boost. Sets really, up. man? It's, you're preventing cancer, man. Butt salad? Really? That, was that important? <laughs> it set up laser RNG. <laughs> yeah, see, there, there you go. Oh, nice, some Caddy BB. Yeah. He's behaving exactly as I expected. Yeah. <laughs> so, the Shifty Eye Cat does some weird things usually when we, uh, we pick him in runs. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're very unusual. <laughs> Yeah, the faces have, have no actual difference in functionality, except when we use them, some of them tend to have just really, really terrible luck. And some other ones work really well. I really, I don't know what it is, but there's one of the, uh, one of the cylinder faces, the mushroom. <laughs> For like, the first two years that we played this game, every time I picked the mushroom, I'd get stuck in a wall immediately afterwards. I've got a bridge. So do I. Okay. All right. Uh, don't that please. was no. That was a really good cat. Cat RNG. See, it was because of the butt sale manipulation. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, you forgot a jump. Nah. Yeah. Oh, it's too late. It. I got it. You got Let's it. Let's go. Jeez. Wait, no, you forgot it. I got my what? two. Huh? No. What are you? What, you what is going on there? Huh? It's, What's uh, the phone doing? Phone's all right. We'll just. Huh? I think. I think we're gonna come out of this all right. Is it ringing? Might no, gotta, we're good. We're good. Text or something. We're good. All right. <laughs> uh oh. Mm. We're good. We're uh, everything's fine. <laughs> It's Caddy BB. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to change faces after this. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I get this, okay, we're good. You can do whatever you need to. Do whatever it takes. I'm gonna change faces. Well, yes, thank you. Oh, I'm the comrade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Quick shout outs to our Russian language um, restream. Yeah. I'm glad you can't see my screen because bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. Yeah. All right. Yes. Um, let's just do the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Something's going uh, on here. Phone, please. <laughs> I don't know. You broke it too good. Yeah, we like have no collision detection with each other right now. Yeah. Huh. No. I would. The block's gone. Why did you? <laughs> uh, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. You exited the stage. What? No. Wait. Why is? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my timer just rolled over. We have 99 hours remaining. <laughs> Maybe we should have captured your screen. <laughs> yeah, there's some bad things happening over here. I literally have no idea what's going on. Uh, so I died and restarted the stage. You're still... Um, uh, Wait, I think... Are we synced up now? I don't know. Did you do Why do you a have Why two are there boats? spikes here? Why are there... I'm... 
My map is different. <laughs> Watch. No? Okay. Huh? There's what? two cats! <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, wait. Everything, everything appears to be okay right now. Vita stage quick Every before I'm something trying, else I'm happens. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. This... This I'm stage trying. has some real bad mojo. <laughs> you should have skipped over Caddy BB. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. His true yep. form was unlocked, finally. <sighs> oh, we did it! We beat the stage! <laughs> uh, so... It's a hard stage. That was a disaster. So you couldn't actually see what my screen looked like, but it was... It was not pretty. It was the Matrix. All right, let's, let's just put that behind us. Everything's gonna be fine. There's huh. a reason you have a hashtag. You know I, that, right? I know. <laughs> yep, no, nope, everything's fine now. Yep. It was just... Just had to show you its true powers. Yeah, yeah. We should be good to go after that. All the bad luck out of the way. Real early. Yep. Sure. <laughs> Just I have to switch that off was, the that was, uh, <laughs> that was a strong play. That was the strongest <laughs> desync I've ever seen without disconnecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was nothing short of a miracle. I'm just going to count that as like. Pi deaths. Are we cool with that? Like I'll, 3. I'll count it as one. I think the stage only reset once. <laughs> we both died a number of times more than that. But well, it resetted, but you were right. still in the stage, just in a. I was in a stage. <laughs> I I had spike blocks. In <laughs> there was two bolts too. Yeah. yeah, there were two two cat bears. <laughs> cat bears. Two cat. Bears. <laughs> Those are raccoons. They're. Well, they're called jackalopes, so we call them cat bears because they're idiots. Yeah, they're... <laughs> or rac rackalopes, it was. Oh, right. All right, so what we need here is we need these cats to go and get themselves eaten. Not you, not you, banana. Also, not a banana. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, goodbye. That's the second time that's ever happened. So that's yep. almost never happened before. Almost. Yeah. It's rarely happened before. No, we're not going to have mistakes anymore. We got rid of our one that's never happened before for this run. Everything's going to be Yeah, that was sailing. a very, very strong one. That's a really bold claim, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait for it? Yeah. Get down there. Oh no. Well, this cat you. this cat is a Jedi. <laughs> alright, alright, we're good. We're good. I'm not even gonna go down there, I'm just gonna die up here. <laughs> I'm not gonna give them the satisfaction. What a phenomenal performance. You saw the score, right? What was that? Man, am I breaking up a lot? Nah, you're good. No, I, I was criticizing your B. I said you saw the score, right? Yeah, no, the B's fine. That's what we wanted. <laughs> I was just it's... making sure you saw it. Yeah, no, no, we're good. <laughs> I'd, I'd like, like, a B plus, maybe, if you have that stamp. <laughs> you, you're a stamper. Your I'm going to kick you off the screen. <laughs> Probably deserve it. All right, I guess you've learned how to play this game, and you're just gonna replace it now. I can't break it any worse. Uh, well, <laughs> you say that. It's fine. We're gonna forget that happened. We're moving forward. Did you check to see if we got the time bonus for at one stage, where we unlocked bad things? Tell you where they put the gems, but I'm not Where gonna. we unlocked bad things? Yeah. The one just now? No. Where the phone was getting angry at us. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't know.
All right, I'll guard the toast so you can go across. All right. Get down there. So uh, we were playing through this once, and an on-fire piece of toast came all the way down to the bottom by the <laughs> robot. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> focusing on PJ, and like, and I'm like, why am I on fire? <laughs> Yeah, so I toast. drop down to jump in the water and immediately get hit by a missile. Yep, Toast was relentless. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Secret stage time. The only thing I don't like about this category versus 100% is that we don't get to hear the secret stage music for as long. Yeah. Uh, that's not a good place. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Cats are dead. I'm in trouble. Okay. Alright, good. That's a really, really scary stage, that descent with the two robots and the two cats. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do and the cats will just like push you into a missile and you're dead. So it's it's pretty rare for us to make it through this stage without dying. All right, I made sure we had enough gems, so, so don't screw it up. <laughs> oh, you were uh, uh, Snuggles. Yeah. The, uh, what is he, the toilet paper bear? I, Diapers? I don't know. Something. I don't what? remember. What that, definitely mascot. not that one. You know, the one, the, the fuzzy looking bear. You know the one. I don't even know you. You, you know the one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zach Harvey, for the fairy doll donation. Poor life choices or best life choices? <laughs> nope. Good luck, Team PLC. Nope. It's far too late for that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, I love this one. I don't remember how to do this intentionally, but... This is the best way to do it. Maybe. Huh. What's the best way? There, there we go. go. You can't do that. You can't do I, that. I just, it's <laughs> fine. It. It's fine. Everything's okay. It's in the instruction manual. I'll show you again. <laughs> okay. Behemoth's going to find out where you guys live. Yeah, you know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> do it again. Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot that you could pan over to me. I like, did too. actually completely Yeah. I don't have I don't have that button anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's playing on an SNES controller again. So he doesn't have enough buttons to I can't do move the camera doing. at all. We did it. Flawless yep. chapter three. Yep. Couldn't have went better. <laughs> nothing, nothing more to say about that one. Yep. Well done, gentlemen. Well Just done. Up. Thank Just you. Thank never you. look back. Just <laughs> never. Does that sound genuine? There's never a dull moment with you at the helm. What was that? I can't hear. It's. Could we maybe. Raise Stamper's volume and... I can't headset. hear him through my headphones. Thank you very much, Sloshed Coder, for the $250 donation. Hey, PJ, your Super Girls and Ghosts run from 2013 was what originally got me into speedrunning, and you're still my favorite runner. I've tried to run Battle Block with my roommate. It didn't end well, so I'm always super impressed by your Battle Block runs. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Timing is everything. Literally, good <laughs> luck, my frog explodes early and kills me. <laughs> no 
So is this one the Chef Boy or Don't, or is it the other one? No, that yeah, that one's Chef Boy or Don't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, volume wait. check. Hey, that that oh. we can really hear you. Volume hey. check. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's, yeah, much, better. that's much better. Cool. Sweet. We should be good to go in about 30 minutes, I'm guessing. Thumbs down, That was kind of cruel. <laughs> so the other good thing about uh, about any gonna percent. bump people up. That's not cool. <laughs> Continue, please. I'm sorry. Sir. Nope, nope. It's fine. I have nothing of, of value to say. He's not wrong. I, <laughs> I didn't know what to say about that. I just, <laughs> if, if you say so. Yeah. The uh, the thing I like about any percent a lot is that uh, since we're missing so much stuff in these stages, we end up getting like all the snarky responses in the score tally thing instead of you being proud of us. That'd be a shame. I can't remember if I was ever proud of anything. Did it's I ever say anything <laughs> positive in the game at all? It, it might have been an accident that they just used without your permission, out of context. Now that I think about it, that might, that might have been a huge Freudian slip. I don't think I said anything positive in the game at all. <laughs> a grand scale Freudian. Keep going. Hurry. Faster. Oh, let's go. Oh, nice. Nice boost. So that, uh, that's... I guess we'll introduce that trick in Chapter 4. Um, that's what we call an Omega boost. For some reason, I have no... I have no the, recollection of ever naming that Oh, uh, uh, Rock, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the cat... The cat hit the rock out of your hands and then killed himself with it. Well, I was stuck in the wall, then he knocked the, <laughs> knocked the rock out of my hands. He knew what he wanted. <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh, that Omega boost. That's something that only the hosts can do. Um, it's basically just an energy ball boost that he does in midair. So he doesn't need a flat corner to do it. He can just do it anywhere he wants, uh, which is really, really useful. I think you should pick cool and good things and not dumb and stupid things. That's good advice. Yes. Oh, Raptor. <laughs> Uh, I'm going up. Uh, <laughs> I, my elevator didn't go up all the way for some reason. I got a plan. Oh, no, oh dear. No thanks. No. Um, yeah, no, fire, the way that that was going to work, uh, before we both just smothered each other in the water on fire, <laughs> is that uh, when you're on fire and you touch water, you get a boost. And that is an intended thing, I think. He's gone. My pig, my pig instantly runs away from me. He's getting out of dodge. Like he does not, he does not want this. He knows what's gonna happen later. I'm trying to get out while it's, I still can. It's seen what you've already done. <laughs> yeah. I like how both of the cats are still riding the pigs. Yeah. Thank you very much, Slippery Dingo 53 for the $100 donation. So hot for the battle block run. Good luck, Mecha and PJ. And Stamper, you are awesome. Please put 50 to each runner's choice. And PJ, they're horses. Pink, they're pigs. Horses. Nope. Uh, you need frog after this stage. Yep. Well, you know what? They are horses, but as far as I know, but I like, I like pigs more. I like that. Let's go with pigs. They're pigs now. Nice. Good. We did hey. it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's cannon. There you go. We did it, stream. Um. Uh, also, what killed us? Yeah, I'm very <laughs> curious. I'm kind of wondering. I'm yep. standing on a block with no enemies, and you were standing on a block that was. Just... Well, it was exploding. It just was more explosive than usual, I guess. <laughs> well, if it would have killed me, I would have seen it. If it would have killed PJ, the state would have just restarted immediately. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm gonna have to watch the instant replay on that one. <laughs> easy now, easy. 
I do. Ah, I forgot to switch Yes, phones. yes. Perfect. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that base. The 2-2 two -two UFO? Yeah. Alright, so Mech Rector is going to do something here, hopefully, um, that the client can't do. Nice. Hopefully. Hopefully. I have Pardon? faith. I have faith in my partner. Let's go. Sometimes. <laughs> hey, ooh. Mm. I might need to talk. No, no, we're fine. Yeah, uh, frogs. Frogs are really good in this game. Frogs, frogs can walk on uh, water and spikes and conveyor belts and anything that they want to, really. Um, and then we can walk on frogs, uh, and then they try and kill us by exploding. It's like a lot of Jesuses. <laughs> you treat the secret stages so unceremoniously. I know. It's just sad. <laughs> yeah, we hey, made it. All going right. On? All right. <laughs> Will Stamper, is it alright if I ask you a question or two? You ask me as many questions as you want, my friend. Oh, thank you. Well, one thing is, um, we have many incentives coming up in this marathon. Do you happen to have any particular preference towards them? Um, elaborate. <laughs> well, for instance, would you like to see two guys race a game called Punch-Out Blindfolded? That sounds great. Yeah, All right, there we go. I think you want to see that. You, everybody wants to see that. Yeah. Except the runners. They don't want to see that. They, <laughs> they won't see it. Womp, <laughs> womp. <laughs> I'm going to push this you couch You let him off. on the couch. <laughs> I didn't let anybody anywhere. Uh, second question. Hypothetically speaking, if you are uh, having a very busy day and you had to get things done very quickly, and you had the opportunity to save some helpless animals, would you do that, or would you remain complacent, allow them to perish in order to complete your tasks as quickly as possible? This is, this is awesome. a reference, or...? <laughs> Why is it hypothetical? I, that, that's Hi hypothetically a... speaking. Hypothetically speaking. Should I... Um, for... Would I kill animals or do nothing? No, would, I... you, would you save animals or would you do nothing and let them die? Um... And also, we're going to assume that your day-to-day -day life is Super Metroid. <laughs> you know, I just let them go, okay? They they die all the time. Just let them go. Just let them go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna catch it. Awkward silence. Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> well, actually, it was more by let them go. Do you mean let them die or actually let them live? No, by yeah, letting let them die, you're die. letting them go. Die. To die. The... Like die. Death. All yep. Every animal ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kill extra <laughs> animals. <laughs> Very decisive. Out of curiosity, how many people are watching this and hearing this right now? I don't know. I hope not many. A lot less than there were when we started. <laughs> Alright. I have no recollection of this. Okay. Me neither. Oh, right. If I remember what switch I have to stand on, it should be uh, this one. I don't remember anything. I've been improving the entire time. <laughs> I was wrong. Yep. The other one. Oh, and uh, to, to elaborate, you have about 137,000 viewers at the moment. That's fine. Wow. Hey guys, I know it's a really um, tense situation, <laughs> but um. Remember all that stuff I said about killing all the animals? Yeah. No. I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they heard you, and they're gonna they're gonna take it out on us. 
Here's a better question. Why ask a yes or no question if you don't want to hear the no part? That is a good question. You have valid point. Yeah. Now you're on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> All of you. Do. You gonna go for it? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Can confirm. Yep. All right. Not supposed to go that way, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. If you if you can match jump fast enough, you can go kind of anywhere you want on conveyors. Oh, nice. I actually got around the cat that time. Yeah. Wow. Nice stage. <laughs> Thank you. So how did you guys decide your gym routing? Did you just go, what's on the way, or did you have to make some sacrifices for safety with some of the gyms? For any percent? Yeah, yeah, for this run. Um, most of it was, we'd play through the stage for the first time and put this this category with this goal and end up with like six gems because 100% muscle memory. Yep. And then we go, oh shoot, we need to not get all of those. And uh, I don't know, like for most of these, since we're splitting up so much, it really doesn't matter which gems we get. Like I, I'm only going to play to the point where I'm, I'm no longer useful. And then I can just go grab any gems at that point. So basically after you pick a face. Right, yeah, after I pick a face. Okay. Shortly after I connect to Mecha Richter. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of the stages of gems aren't, aren't terribly hard to get. Um, so when one person just runs straight to the exit, the other person's able to open it up for him before they get there. All right, do whatever it takes. Oh yeah, it is a stage. This is the cat right here. All right, all right, he was fine. Knee was not fine. <laughs> <laughs> he was not fine. He heard you. Stamper, you did this. He heard that you I'm wanted so, us I'm to so kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. How many people are watching? 137,000. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to forget. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at my friends here in this little box with, oh, it's five, wait, one, two, three, I'm bad at math, five guys. Oh, and, five uh, guys. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty big number. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice job. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that was ballsy. Yeah. Thank you very much, Adok, for your donation of 300 dimes. Hey, BJ, take these and put them on. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so something that, that came into play in the finale of Chapter 4, we didn't really mention. Um, the most switches that you can have in a stage is two. Well, the most unique switches you can have is two. So. What do you mean by switches? Switches, yeah, these button things. You stand on oh, them. Oh, right, right, okay. They cook, I don't know. They're kind of like switches. Uh, so this stage has a blue switch and an orange switch, or brown, or whatever color that is. It's probably brown. Um, but yeah, all the brown switches are or the blue switches, all of the switches are the same color are not different. So Mech Richter can just stay at the beginning and uh, stand on the switch and it'll open up something at the very end of the stage for me. Um, instead of like doing some... Get a pretty ridiculous setup things. to get up to where you needed to be to hit a switch. We found out I could just hang out at the beginning and stand on the switch and you could just keep, keep walking. Keep on trucking. I hate this stage. The, yeah. <laughs> this thing is the worst. Good. I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't believe you. You know, I agree. I, I hate it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. You're giving me mixed signals here. <laughs> Doesn't this look like a whole lot of fun? You got boomerang? Yeah, I got it. All right. 
Sweet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a really scary stage. Uh, the bus saws. Uh, the bus saws for me are sometimes in a different spot from where they they appear on screen. <laughs> oh no, they're a total pain in the. Um, <laughs> I, uh, the rear. <laughs> they're a pain in the rear. There's a frog coming. They're upsetting. <laughs> do this. I, I can call the pigs if you want. I don't really trust the pigs. They don't trust you either. Alright, we're good. They're horses. Please don't energy boost. <laughs> I, you <laughs> said they were pigs. You agreed They're with horses us. now. <laughs> <laughs> you died too many times. You lost pig privileges. Man. Dang it, PJ. You ruined it. I'll just, we had I'll, him. Well, fine. They can be horses, but I'm going to turn them into pigs. They'll be pigs when I'm done. I, I don't. Oh, oh no, that okay. Every single time we've done this stage, he does like a fake throw, and that's the first time it actually did oh, something. Call the pig. All right, I'm gonna show him. <laughs> I'm gonna show him what. <laughs> Come here, you. Come here. Just one of you. Here you go. Jump on the pig horse. <laughs> They're looking at each other. They're going back. Uh, there's a frog on the ceiling. Uh, Just it. Oh, okay. Is that yours? I don't know. <laughs> they never were mine. <laughs> right. oh. No, you're fine. I was worried about the cannon. No, nah, you're fine. Oh, cool. <laughs> Everything's under control. You can trust me. All right, perfect. Well done. Easy every well time. Well done. Easy, easy every time. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Five six. Is this a uh, reverse volcano boost? Uh. I think yeah. 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 Don't do it. <laughs> I know you're thinking about I it. <laughs> Decisions been made. We'll, we'll see what happens. You can't give somebody a cool name like that in front of people and not do it. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting over here like, uh, oh, well, My people need to see this now. <laughs> I think that frog just made up the mind. He's like, no, I have to yes. kill you here. I have to put an end to this. <laughs> we can't let it happen. Like, look, we've, we've talked about this. We can't. Oh, I guess I'm going first. Yeah. They don't want to see it. They don't no. want reverse <laughs> volcano boost. Wait, what killed you? Uh, Is it the cannon? No, laser cat. Did you say laser cap? Yes. I don't think I've seen him before. <laughs> this thing? Yeah, he only shows up in my game sometimes. <laughs> Not doing it. So, you guys look awfully nervous. <laughs> Don't nothing <laughs> to see here. <laughs> All right, you guys. He was actually doing, trying to do the easier one. Um, easier. The harder one, you can use an energy ball, and it like sends you flying across, and it uh, skips a couple cycles. But we've only done it like twice out of a hundred, so we decided not to do it here. Yep, and one of those two times was the first time I ever thought of it. Like, I wonder if this works. Oh, that's easy. And then we spent like an hour trying it again. We couldn't get it to work a single time. Yep. Yep. The first try success is the greatest trap. Yeah. The sad thing is we both got it <laughs> yeah. at the same time. Wait, how'd you do that? Oh, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are killing me. I want to say that's what she said after everything you say. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what we're here for. So just keep it in, keep it in mind. Continue. <laughs> so what are you guys doing here? What are we What are we doing here? Yeah. 
We are raising explain. money. We are raising money for the uh, no, prevent no, cancer explain products. Explain what you're doing through the levels. Just go. Oh, there yeah. we okay. your progress. All right, here we go. So I'm standing on these blocks. I'm gonna use my frog and hope he doesn't kill me because he's a jerk. Yeah, I had a yeah. Okay, that didn't work. No. Okay, this. PJ said something in this day. He's like, all right, let's hope we don't get the uh, uh, something boost. And that's when bad things happen. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm curious about Mr. Volcano. And what would you call that? Uh, yeah, that? This missile. Go home. <laughs> go home. <laughs> <laughs> We've had enough. No, no, you, no, seriously. Like, you, you, you like, coined it last year. What was that? The I don't Omega remember boost. anything Omega that I said no. last year. The Omega, yeah, the Omega Boost. Omega Boost. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Omega Boost. Yeah. That's what everybody calls them now. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I did that and like, that's a cool boost. And then like, I, we never gave it a name and I'm like, alright, I'm gonna try to make a boost here. And PJ's like, what? Yeah, what is like, that? I've got no idea what you, what you mean, but sure, well, let's do it. Um, I will pay anybody to come up with a better name because it, it just works. <laughs> yeah, it's a sweet name. Congrats, PJ. You finally got something to work. <laughs> I'm gonna mark this day in my calendar. You don't have a working calendar. I... <laughs> it's a shame, really. Should have thought ahead. All right, there you go. Thanks. Yep. Uh, um, so it might look like we're fooling around, and that's mostly true. <laughs> but I swear there's a method to our madness here. So this is the clown boost skip. <laughs> Yep. Wow. <laughs> Nicely done. So when we used to play at stage normally, well, normally by our terms. Um, <laughs> we used to play through the stage instead of through the wall. Yeah. And the very last gem, the one I grabbed uh, before I went through the exit, PJ used to go and uh, like land on the, the volcano block and grab the gem and exit. And every time he would go to grab it, it would never actually collect. Yeah, and he was the only right one that could it. do it. And he was like, he was a clown at the time, so he called it Clown Boost, which, <laughs> again, we're we, not allowed to name yeah. things. <laughs> Alright, so again, here, like, there's no point in me even being around at the end of this stage. It just increases the chances of both of us dying. So I'm just giving MechaRector a camera here so we can get a better feel for the, uh, the timing on these disappearing blocks. It's a really wise idea, though. What's that, just standing still so I don't die? No, uh, oh. take in advantage of the cameras. It's yeah. a good idea. It's wise. So also, so you gave people some really good life advice. Why go through the stage when you can go through the wall? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Right? That's the speedrunner's motto. And the juggernaut's motto. <laughs> yeah, but you know, he had, he had anger problems, man. He, yeah, it, it wasn't an anger problem, it was a helmet problem. <laughs> Thank you very much, Neil33, for your $100 donation in celebration of Steve, who is cancer free as of today. Congratulations, right. Steve. Awesome. Congratulations, Steve. Why was that applause so delayed? He's he yeah. dead for free. I don't want this frog here. He doesn't want you here either. Ooh, that's not cool, man. <laughs> Cold, but true. That's why he's chasing after him. I mean, he's a frog whose main purpose is to blow up and kill things. He knows what he's there for. Uh... Yeah, that's a good pattern. Nice. Well done. That's a scary stage at the yeah. end. Um, you gonna do the thing? Yeah. Still better, I get. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna uh, stay back. Yeah. I don't trust the thing. Anytime one of you asks, "Are you gonna do the thing?" I get immediately <laughs> nervous. Yeah. Wait, a trick that's not even worthy of a bad name that you've come up with? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that thing's gotta be useless. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? 
Samper did say he would give somebody money if he come up with a name or a better name. That doesn't sure. have a name, so all bets are off. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you've got a good pattern here. Wait for it, yeah. Yep. Alright, cool. So as you might have noticed, the stages get significantly longer as the game goes on. Not really a big surprise, but it means that when we die, we have to play a lot more of the stage again. And uh, from here on, like most of the danger is going to be at the very end of the stages. <laughs> so this is where things get really interesting. It vexes me so. It truly does. But where did it come? Thank you very much, Mabian, for your $50 donation. Loving this battle block run. I really like this new Stamper voice pack, and I thought those new lag strats were really interesting. <laughs> I'm excited to see what else these runners and the magical phone do to this game. It's, it's best to leave now because it's only going to get worse from this point. Yeah, on. no, it's. Yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna let me say that to you and yeah, no, I've deal I, with it. No, I don't disagree. It's gonna get a lot worse from here. <laughs> um, so yeah, a uh, side effect of the stages getting longer is that there's more of the stages that we are allowed to just skip. Um, no. So <laughs> it's an interesting trick. I think we tried naming it once and then it just never caught on. So we just. That's another thing that's just been uh, a do the thing trick. And uh, yeah, at the bottom there, Mecha kind of went right through the wall again. Um, when you use kind an energy no, boost, no, I definitely went through the wall. You, you kind of went. Through. <laughs> uh, when you use an energy boost and you're on ice, it just gives you crazy momentum. It preserves it throughout the whole thing. It doesn't just shoot you straight up. It uh, just launches you. <laughs> Uh, uh, That's not what he's supposed uh, to do. No. You're not the That's boss okay. of Frog. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. Yeah, it's just. Better. It's really hard to see. Alright. Yeah. Good call. The background in the secret stages are so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't remember this extremely frowning face. <laughs> Thank you very much to the Freudian Slip for your $100 donation. Hey, Stamper, your Super Metroid life sounds pretty exciting, so here's a donation to help you to help make your wish of killing the animals a reality. Excellent. I'm gonna launch this duck into space. <laughs> Put the Reverse duck. psychology. Huh. Yeah, so I found out you can uh, hit the egg with the energy ball, and I sent it like over the uh, point where he like just stands in place and waits for you. So he just kept walking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you can get ducks past their uh, their boundaries, it doesn't check anymore to, to know whether or not the duck is supposed to be there. Yeah. So so he'll just, just keep can't... running and never stop. Yeah, he's just running laps around the rest of the stage. Set free. Duck is the best character. Yeah, he's nice. I think I'm a big fan of him. You say the green duck? Green. The duck, yeah, the yeah. duck shark. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this you guy. Know. This thing. I can't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what I want Mech Richter to do here is build Onyx. There we go. He's, yeah, that's a good one. Good Onyx. So now we can just jump right through the cloud instead of having to do other things. <laughs> All as intended. I'm really glad that laser ended because I didn't wait for it at all. It just, just went. Well done. That was cool. Yeah, that was nice. a neat stage. That worked out well. It normally doesn't work out that well. <laughs> Build Onyx. Oh, come Build on. Onyx, yeah. It's not yeah. as strong as that one Onyx. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ultimate Onyx. <laughs> it's like 60 rocks all jammed together on the <laughs> conveyor belt. <laughs> yeah, we don't get to play that stage in That's any good. percent. All right. Nice. 
Good work. So that's a very incorrect way to do it. Good work. I don't yeah. even remember how to do it intentionally. Well, you have to, you get like one block in a rock and you're supposed to, or no, you don't even get blocks. You get uh, the disappearing blocks, I think. Uh, and you just have to like throw the rock up one step at a time to the very top. And then you put it on a, a cloud and it makes a bridge. Um, but yeah, we found out that you can just, with some, some really, uh, Really impressive timing. I still don't know how you do that at all. I don't either. Uh, you can just use a frog and go underneath it. Okay. I'm waiting. There you go. There you go. Yes, you build it's, onyx. It's, build the onyx. <laughs> I don't have enough gym badges. <laughs> Hope this isn't distracting you. <laughs> Easy. Easy every time. E easy that time. Easy sometimes. Thank you very much, Anonymous, for the $100 donation. The Battle Block Theater run from AGDQ 2015 was amazing, and this one hasn't let me down so far. You guys are awesome. Good luck to PJ and Mecha, and thank you to Stamper, Dan, and the rest of the team for making this awesome, wacky game. Oh. Me first. How did you get on top of I don't <laughs> Uh, I'm not going for it. All right, so uh, you're doing weird things again. I mean, more than unusual. Uh, one of the uh, one of the other interesting perks about playing as a client is that That's... there are these. We're fine. Um, there are these invisible walls wow. that you somehow bump into. So watch me on this block right there. Like, all my momentum reset, because I bumped into a wall and then it vanished. Well, it was already vanished, so it vanished again. There'll be a one... Oh, that, wow. Cool. There'll be another one that's more obvious than that. Yeah. Yeah, when you're playing for the first time as client, though, you're, you just, you're walking and you just stop and then get killed by something, or you're falling and then you land on something that's not there. So... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit strange. There's one in, uh, I forget which stage it is. But it's supposed to like um, oh, run along some ice, and yeah. there's some bubbles, this, uh, bubble gum to stop you, and there's a laser, and it happens there. So like you're trying to run across it, and you just stop completely. Yeah, yeah that's in that's in six nine actually. It's two stages from now. Except yeah. we take the back door in that stage as well, so we don't have to do do that. Um. Oh. Hmm. It's been a while since I had to increase the death counter. Okay. You gave me something to do. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Here to help. All right, so this is a really fun stage for me to play. The client, uh, the client does cool things here. Uh, sometimes. Okay. You know, work. I came in here and I was, I was, I'm gonna give those guys the hardest time, and now I'm sitting here with popcorn, just like. Please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this block puzzle, I, I genuinely do not know how you're supposed to get through it. So you build the onyx. <laughs> I built kind of an onyx. That's the... Do it again. Build I can't. Those one. those blocks are stuck. Yeah. That's that's their new home. <laughs> Jump over the saw blades. There you go. I did it. <laughs> Sweet, dude. Success. Excellent. All right, I'm glad you wanted to uh, to donate towards killing the animals. This, this stage stage has a problem here. <laughs> has a cat yeah. problem. I'm already not gonna be able to live that down. Could you please stop? No. Nope. Feeding into. Too place? late. Huh, oh, Mary, come here, you. So, apparently, if you do like <laughs> this up hey, toss hey, hey. thing, uh -huh. <laughs> it just it instantly kills them. <laughs> So, like, if there's a cat that's just sandwiched, and you push him up, he just, he's crushed. Boy. <laughs> and then you just whack a duck. That was a real treat. No, 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 no. Get in the bunker. <laughs> Okay, you're up. Hmm. 
I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're, uh... Alright. Good work. Yeah, that was interesting. I actually remembered to switch the right thing this time. Oh, nice. I don't remember what that is. It's the, the fan. Oh! Oh, yeah. Fan is always the right weapon. Okay. Interesting delay on that. Don't get stuck. Okay. Nice. <laughs> So, this is a pretty cool stage, too. Yeah, it's a shame, because I actually really like this level. Um, <laughs> so do I. But... I'll bet you do. We've I'll got, bet you do. We've got, we've got keys to the back door again. <laughs> yeah, they just leave them all over the stage. And we yeah, they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> all you need is a fan and a block. Oh, a quarter box. Nice. Yeah, I'll quarter. Go through the stage. Go through the wall. Thank you very much, FloodKiller131, for your $70 donation. Good luck, PJ Mecca, and watch out for the deck collector. <laughs> it's too late for that. Yeah, no. He, he was showed here up, early. He showed up a few chapters yeah. early, but he yeah. showed up. Are you doing this uh, on your own at the bottom, or am, am I going to smash you? Uh, I... Is he still yes. talking? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it? Alright. I will divert mm, the missile. Uh, See? Okay, I guess I do need your Successful. help. Successful. <laughs> diverted directly... <laughs> diverted directly to center mass. I, I like how we both agreed to not do that, and now both of us are <laughs> yep. doing it. It's what I expected, honestly. Do you want help? Uh, yep. All right, good. <clears throat> this happens. Yeah. Blast Block has uh, weird momentum. Sometimes it'll... Relax, relax. <laughs> oh, actually, I <laughs> Are you relaxed? Oh, yeah. Always. Are you sure? I am very sure. Relax. Relax. Do you remember when we played any pre or, uh, insane mode a while ago, and every time you died, like my entire screen was covered in your bones? <laughs> oh yeah. And, like it just kept <laughs> kept launching bones all over the screen. Yeah, the bone factory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you'd get like killed by a saw blade, and then your bones were just just absolutely <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, it's a shame that never happened again. Yeah, I, I really wish I knew what caused that, because that was hilarious. I'm glad we never figured it out. Huh. Uh, I'll help. <laughs> Thanks. Give me a proper burial. Gave you, gave you the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't a proper burial be a full onyx and not just one part? I, no. Well, he only I don't, so I don't have time. a full onyx. He only had so much time, too. You gotta make do with the resources on hand. Yep. All right, so this guy at the top is um, really dumb. Yay. Huh. Okay, wow. Huh. I, I've never seen that missile actually come yeah, back. Yeah, I don't know why it did that. But. All right, six down. All right. Only the hardest two to go. Yeah, so chapter seven, chapter seven I used to not like because the, the stages were really long now, and saying, uh, really well, they're not long anymore. Uh, so I really like chapter seven now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Bannon, for your $50 donation. My guy PJ playing Battle Block with Mecha, backed up by an all-star catch with a glorious narrator, all in the fight to eliminate cancer. Oh my goodness gracious! That was pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's more like it's more like. Oh my goodness gracious! You gotta like put a, your your lungs and your gut into it. Go. Try again. 
<laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I think I missed all of those. Nope, I, I didn't. All right. Nice job. All so, right. uh, this stage, uh, this is a trick uh, that was found by Game Guy SD. Um, there's a way to get to the exit early, and it's extremely difficult. And uh, normally, when we play on normal mode instead of insane mode, I just die afterwards. But we can't do that anymore. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to attempt to permanently set Mecha Richter on fire. <laughs> Go on. And we have succeeded. So Mecha Richter is the uh, the the inextinguishable flames. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when you're on fire, you're allowed to walk on spikes. That's like one of the cool perks of it. Uh, besides, you know. Okay. Besides go being on back, fire. Like nine steps. What? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. No. Go with it. It. It's <laughs> yeah. No. I have to. I have to slide kick him in midair shortly after he dies, and then I have to get extinguished by the ice machine. That is great. And then uh, that happens. So it's that's pretty sweet. I really enjoy that one. That's a new one. I need help. All right. So in this stage, uh, you're supposed to have to play through it twice. Uh, you would go through, and then uh, you get to the end, and you move a block on the black switch, and then you play through again with the uh, oh the black blocks removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it and hit the black switch, and uh, Mech Richter's just going to wait. Very good. Now he's going to collect three gems and just go straight in the exit, which has now been opened because the switch is, the switch is hit. So, the saw blades don't do that weird thing again. The weird thing? Where they just stop moving forward and turn around? Yeah. <laughs> All right. They didn't do it. Yeah. Sweet. Good. Thank you very much, Sir Ralvin, for the $50 donation. It is 4 o'clock in the morning where I live, but I just cannot go to sleep when Battle Block Theater is on with Mecha and PJ. Please build the Onyxes faster so I can get in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> also, could you please mute the guy on the phone? I cannot hear the announcer in the game because of him. <laughs> That's good advice. Do it. <laughs> Is it 4 o'clock in the morning? Yep. Yeah. This is, uh, this is actually pretty rare that the narrator has not been muted yet. Normally when we, when we play, we get like four or five stages in and then it's just nothing. We don't have sound for the rest of the game. <laughs> I'm amazed you have a game so you, for the You just stages. mute the guy? Uh, Tell me how you really feel. I mean, he mutes himself. <laughs> I've had enough of his lip. It's always criticizing yeah. scene. Tell me about it. That's what you get. You know, <laughs> I beat the game too, all right? I'm sick of him too. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, that thing might be a problem. All right, there's another invisible wall here. Bonk. <laughs> I, I have only, no idea what causes those. Only I happens no with idea. client. Yeah. I I thought he was making it up until I like started watching his screen. That guy knew that he won. He just <laughs> went out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> I hit him. I'm good. All right. All right. This is six. Yeah. Yeah, 7 6 is one of my favorite stages. It's really neat. The level design is spectacular in this. Um, we sadly don't get to see much of it in any percent because Mecha Richter can just go right up here and grab the boat. Nice. Alright, we're good. Yeah, the elevator was out of order, but I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God, this is not a good phase for this stage. Oh no. Do you have Delta Schmucko? Yes. <laughs> Alright. I only have to this, do like two this things. Is this be, is easy. This is gonna be a disaster. Yeah, no, it's over. <laughs> All the stages though. Relax. Relax. 
this stage, or this face has such bad karma. Yeah, the ultimate bad. That's okay. I'll help you out. We can get through this. It's all right. That was the warm up. <laughs> That looks good. Yep. Nice. Well done. Good job. All right. Time to get rid of this face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a hollow gesture. Hey, I'll help you out. And I just sat here and didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a really neat stage. All this right. stage, though. All right, pigs. Listen. You don't like me. I don't like you. You get on the pig, and you get on the horse. <laughs> and, and we'll go. And go. Alright. So, this so. used to be a neat stage. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> yep. I, I don't know. Yeah. don't so really have to say anything else. It speaks for itself. Alright, come on, pig. Stay. No! No! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> you get back like, to go. Let's do it. <laughs> This thing is such a jerk. I'm, I'm taking my time here. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you get back over. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we're through. We're through. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I agree. We'd give you lower if we could. So I can't tell you how many times I go to drop on the pig and it just takes one step forward and lets me fall so far. <laughs> like at, at least at least two dozen times. This is an, a, another stage where we're supposed to get a pig and then put him on a switch, but I don't trust him. I really don't trust those. So we're going to take uh, this approach. <laughs> hey, hey now. That was awesome. That was nice. First try. Mm -hmm. Hold on. It's actually a uh, pretty difficult positioning. Mm -hmm. Okay, good for you. Here's your B. <laughs> All right, these two levels are probably the two hardest in the game on insane mode. Got the, I got the really excitable kitty, though. Oh, so no. We're good. Candy BB got pet too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, just focus and relax, and don't worry about the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that are watching your every move. Hundreds of thousands, in fact. You're not helping things. That guy's gone. Uh, what I, is, think, I think I'm clear here. What is Space Cat doing? He's... I... He's yeah, I'm, I'm not sure out. what that guy is. Out! No! Don't. Okay. Alright. Ice is on. Good. Here is the true difficult. Pop. So... <laughs> For some reason, on insane mode only, the rock just gets launched and lands directly on your head. <laughs> All right, good. Oh, uh, I, I spike jumped. Well, you dizzy. Sp you spike jumped on more than one pixel. <laughs> I, I'm not okay with that. It's fine. It's fine. We need to get out of the stage. It's fine. Yep, Would this face lie to you? <laughs> Hey, that's the first hat of the run. It is. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Oh. That, that was not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually we actually don't want golden hats. Golden hats are neat, and you cool you do a cool little dance at the end of the stage, and you get gems. But um, that little happy jig at the end takes a lot of time. Ah, uh, each time. Okay. 
Easy now. Easy does. <laughs> Relax. So during one of our practice runs, don't my worry about all the grenades and fire and spikes and. Nice. Yeah. What are your practice duties? So that went way better than usually does. Yeah. Even with the death. Yeah, in one of our practice runs. <laughs> Mecca just was like standing in that safe spot, like that five tile safe spot, and died from a grenade. And then when he spawned, he took the recoil from the grenade. It's so like he spawned and was pushed back. That was nice. That was really encouraging. I gotta talk to somebody about that square cat head. That, that thing was hideous. It was hard to look at. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up to him. I ain't give you bad luck, truthfully. Swear off it. Swear off it. And put them in your pocket. Then find oh no. <laughs> Stacks of butter is still <laughs> the ultimate bad face. Stacks of butter is fine. The bad mushroom is the, the bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so most of chapter 8 we're going to be doing uh, the intended way. Can't skip much of chapter 8. These are also really long stages and really random stages. So hopefully we don't lose a ton of time here. <laughs> this is this is the real dangerous part. That's a godly laser cycle though. Nice. Well done. Really good. Should be good. Oh yeah, the, the right one's open. Okay. Yeah. Yes, these two cat bears or rackalopes, whatever. We're bad with animals. <laughs> whatever those things are though, they camp out right on top of the gems and sometimes they just don't budge. If that's the case, then I have to pick up a third gem um, at the end, which is pretty time consuming. First try, that's yeah. awesome. Wow. That's a super hard Alright, I'm watching this missile now. I'm waiting for Sawblade. Yeah, so w one time I panned over to him. And like I just exploded, yeah. just standing in place there. <laughs> Glad it didn't happen that time. Yeah, yeah, that's happened a number of a number of times to us today. Yeah. All right, the ruggedly handsome man from my dreams is ready. <laughs> That is actually his name. His <laughs> actual name, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I trust Gumshoe. No. Which is which? I guess I can do it that way. Uh, <laughs> the ruggedly handsome man from my dreams is the square face guy, of course. Oh, I had it backwards. No, I mean, he could be the ruggedly handsome man from your dreams. It's fine. It's very true. true. It's very true. No. All right, all right, robot. Just picture my ideal husband. I'm gonna to do have bad a, things to you. A <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, 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 the triangular head with the big pronounced jaw. <laughs> like a, <laughs> the square head guy looks like he's got tax problems. And he stuff, does. Right? That's why he's kicking this robot. <laughs> <laughs> he's worried. He's, he's a friend you don't invite to your house. Yeah, nah, but, you don't invite him, but he's there. Like somebody else brings him. <laughs> I stage. Yeah. So if you shove a block inside that robot, he's he's not happy about it, and then he can't do anything. <laughs> so because we have a tendency to die just while we're standing still, I just make sure he doesn't get that chance. Then he proceeds to do the Wiggletron dance. Yeah. Thank you very much, Anonymous, for your $100 donation. 
Shouts to my mom, who's a two-time cancer survivor. She's battling leukemia right now and is hospitalized watching this awesome series of games you guys have lined up. Keep doing what you're doing and kill the animals. Oh, well, that took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, whoops. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nailed it. Yeah, we, we came up with a number of ways to try and not have to do that pause. I have to get rid of this frog. Um, our solutions to that puzzle were not good, so it's it's a much smarter idea to do it the way that we're actually supposed to. You mean the three block thing? The, uh, yeah, the thing at the beginning, getting that rock across there. Oh no, not that puzzle, oh, oh, oh. sorry. The, uh, the rock and the fuzzy berry that kind of carries it along on his head. Gotcha. Yeah, I, we were like, all right, wait, made it. I could I could set you on fire permanently again and then just smash you so you go underneath the fan. <laughs> and they were like, wait, 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 just stop right there. This is stupid. <laughs> wait, since when do you make good decisions? It was an accident. Okay. This is a Don't let it happen pattern. again. Okay. I'm not real sure how I got through there. No. You, I'm you waiting. Uh, I'm gonna wait here too. I don't trust this thing. Sometimes lasers fire super, super early. Wow, got the good news. Nice. Thank you very much, 60 Dew, for the $15 donation. Another 4 a.m. are here. Can't wait till you make all the onyxes and slay all the cats. Good luck, guys. See, he knows yeah. what's up. People really just want the onyxes. I okay. know. Hmm. Well, if we make the onyxes, then the onyxes can slay the cats. We can be resolved to that, uh, that responsibility. <laughs> We're supposed to have pigs to get under that, too, but we... You should know by now, we do not, do not trust those. <laughs> I mean, you seem to have pretty good luck with them, but they uh, they have it out for me. They're just biding their time. Taking out their aggression on you. <laughs> Alright, should be good here. Hey, hey, wow, nice. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much, Felix Zero the Zero Cat, for the fifty dollar donation. Enjoying the speed run of Battle Block Theater, especially with the added taunts of Double Stamper. I love how amazed he is at this. Great run so far, and looking forward to the rest of the marathon. Well, of course it's amazing. Look at it. All right. Fascinating. Hey, when uh, when people donate, do like a. Do a, an overly exaggerated narrator voice. That's your responsibility <laughs> now. I, you have to do that. <laughs> I'll do my best, sir. All right. Oh, yeah, this is the yeah. most important part. What? I, I, oh, your energy ball knocked me out of it. I really right. wish I said that a long time ago. Wiggle try. Never lose hope. I did. Uh, I have dart. I don't. That's fine. I do. Everything's gonna be fine. No one believes you. Someone might. I mean, they I won't. do. I used to take the stage a lot more aggressively, but... Yeah, this this is another really, really long stage. Like yeah. Chapter 8 is really long levels. Which is fine. I mean, like, the levels are neat, but in insane mode, that just means that we have to be really careful when we get to the end, so we don't have to redo the entire thing. Alright, and now, assuming I can get a dart stuck to the wall, should be should be okay. Duck Shark's going to get his really hard. Sweet. 
<laughs> he was coming back for you. <laughs> Make you pay for that. <laughs> Thank you, Condor154, for the $270 donation. Love oh, to Mecha PJ from the Condor again. crew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. Thank you, Condor154, for the $270 donation. Love to Mecha PJ. $270, man. Soul, man. Put right. effort into it. <laughs> All right, soul, soul, soul. Love to Mecha PJ from the Condor crew. Putting this for Spooty Biscuits, crazy Necro Dancer Codal Run incentive. Condor hype. That's only one donation. I have way more to go. <laughs> oh, just missed it. That's fine. We're in no rush. We can wait this out. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Subblades. Don't worry about me. Oh, hey, hey. I'm making good friends with my Sawblade. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on down there. Yeah. What? PJ told me if I did that, he'd get really angry. So, <laughs> of course I went for it. But you didn't die, so it's all right. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how that's possible, because the saw blades are supposed to, like, wiggle back and forth on the, yeah. the platform. I <laughs> yep. Let's go. I got trouble brewing face. Oh, nice. Thank you so very much to Bon for the $50 donation. First time viewing HDQ, and I am having a blast. I lost my grandmother to breast cancer a year and a half ago. Uh, so I'm happy to contribute to killing cancer and killing the animals. Stamper, I think we're going to have to renegotiate the deal. <laughs> Well, you know what? He picked that one just to rub it in, all right? Hey. <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> ah, We've made some bad you. choices in our time, but... <laughs> I think we've won up ourselves, yep. gentlemen. Yeah. I think it's time to retire Team Poor Life Choices. <laughs> you think this is bad? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Now we've taunted him. And then they're left. Started yet. The gauntlet's been thrown. Fortunately, <laughs> we only have two more stages. And then, you know. Where's your oh, face? Oh, right, my face. I have the wrong one. All right. I'm ready. Uh-oh. It's tradition, octopus shark. Or whatever I am, I, th I think it's a shark. I mean, you just name everything whatever you want anyway. You might as well just keep going with it. I don't I name really, it whatever I want. I, I really want to do the correct same strat here. <laughs> wow. I had a really, really stupid strat. Was it that? <laughs> <laughs> Only when you do it. <laughs> I don't remember how I did it, but it involved jumping on the I wonder the saw if this blade. works still. Alright, Pig's not gonna let me do it. Pig knows better. Uh, that should have killed me. I lost all my momentum on that last jump. <laughs> Alright, so this finale is generally not bad, except for the cannons at the bottom there. Uh, they can give us some really, really mean patterns. I need one more gem. I got it. Yeah, there's you know, one right there. You know, I'm curious. The, um, the three-block puzzles, are they different every time? Yeah. Yeah, the three-block puzzles are random every time. And, uh, Man, those, those were the bane pattern. of my existence. I, my brain couldn't understand that. Yeah, they're a pain. <laughs> it's, it's such a simple puzzle, but seriously, I, I wanted to quit playing everything. Because of you those. Just, you just keep reloading the stage until you get just a one move. Solution. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so this is the last stage, but timing Ooh, uh, does not. Yeah, end do not, do not of... time yet. Okay, yeah, definitely don't. All right, do it so now. that was a test run. So now you know when to not stop the timer. <laughs> so now when I get up there for real, we're good. It, it tr triggered anyways. But... That's still clever. That's very clever, though.
Yeah, that was a good day when we found that. Yeah. Like most things, it was a complete accident, and Mecca tried something stupid at the bottom and ended up at the top. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, wait a minute. Yeah, we should probably do that. That's how most horse threats <laughs> start. All right, so time is going to end once we, uh, once we reach this boat over here. Thank you very much, the sound defense, for the utility <laughs> donation. All right, time. It's time there. How much do we need to donate to keep Stamper on the line for the rest of the marathon? I'm gonna go kick it with PJ and Rick then. What's that? I'm gonna go kick. I'm gonna go kick it with these guys, man. <laughs> We're down. Meet us. Uh, meet us here in uh, three hours. That's true. Uh, so this is a. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's not Arlington. He wasn't moving. I missed that. Herndon, Virginia. Yeah. Yep. Herndon. That's right. There. That's right. Yeah. So I think the the grand total was 24 deaths there. Mm -hmm. It's like what uh, three three per chapter on average. And we're gonna deduct at least 20 of those from whatever happened to the phone in chapter three. <laughs> <laughs> the phone is the true winner. The phone. I had you at 26, but 26. I don't like you, so. Yeah, yeah. You never learned how to count. Nope. It's all right. I trust Omni Gamer. He had a pen and everything. You wouldn't even wear that hat for me. I don't you didn't. Trust you. you didn't pick a level. Every level. Every level was the level. Well, you died 24 times, <laughs> so none of them would have worked, would it? Touche. Shout out to Justin Time. Just and Justin Timberlake. Yep. We only hit 647 cats in that run. So, Samper, what are your thoughts on this song? You make potatoes, and I got just the recipe. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> you don't remember it, do you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I'm sure I do. Let me just uh, turn on my stream audio. I remember this <laughs> Oh, man, what a throwback. <laughs> what, was our, uh, what was our time on that? Uh, 139, 57? 130 what? 139, 57? That's only a minute off our PB. <laughs> That's it. You're I think phones are playing on it. a phone. I think, yeah, the phone. <laughs> the, the phone fixed that. Yeah. Wow. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, very well done, guys. Very well done. <laughs> Thank you. It was, it was lucky. It was an accident. <laughs> We meant to just completely whiff. We've never even played on insane mode before. What We're is gonna this play nonsense? For... <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> the cat, the cat centaur is <laughs> pretty amazing. So hey, this is the uh, this is the setup for uh, for pit people, too. Am I yeah. right? Oh yeah, there's some awesome game coming yeah. out soon. You got? Uh... Uh, I think Behemoth is working on. Yeah. Or has finished. Yeah, it, it's absolutely awesome. And everyone should get it, because it's great. I agree. I can confirm this. <laughs> Did we sell it yep. okay? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. No! No, no! No! No, no! Oh, man. There what he is. We, <laughs> we finally got him. Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. Because of them. Yes. It all made sense now. <laughs> oh, I forget. I forget. All right. Congratulations, all right. Battle Block Theater. Uh, Mechwork Team PJ, congratulations. Yeah. Great run. And thank you very much, Will yeah. Stamper. Thank you so much, Stamper. Yep. Yes, really appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Yep. Oh. All right then. Uh, stay tuned for an interview with uh, Mecha Richter and PJ.
All right, shortly we will be beginning our next game, uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. But first, an interview with the runners for Battle Block Theater, Mecca and PJ. Hi. Oh, we're not Hi. No PJ. Huh? Hey, everybody. I'm Faisal. I'm here with PJ and Mecca Richter. <laughs> I swear PJ is here. He broke the, the framing of the shot, though. But they just finished their run of Battle Block Theater. And man, what a run! What did you What did you guys think of that? You've done this in uh, on 100 percent, but not on insane mode. Before, yeah. Right. So yeah. how's this different for you? Uh, insane mode's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, like the first few chapters aren't bad because there's not much threat, but when you get to the later chapters, where all the threats like at the very end of like two minute long stages, <laughs> it's like, all right, we're on good pace. Oh no, nope, we're two minutes behind now. Right. So uh, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot more pressure for those stages. Um, but it, it's definitely a different mindset going into things when you play. You seem pretty relaxed about it, though. I think maybe it's just the co-op and the fact that you guys, you know, had each other's backs. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I think at least uh, having more time to play the game and uh, get used to our uh, our shenanigans helped out a lot too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, How did you guys get in touch with the developer? How did you first get in contact? with the developers of that game? Um, that was last AGDQ. Um, the call was set up. We didn't have pretty much any involvement in that. We were like, we would love to do that, but we, we don't know how to set that up. <laughs> so that was set up, and uh, then we just kept in contact after that with them, because they were really awesome people. Yeah. <laughs> like, the behemoth is fantastic. They're really great people, really helpful, really interested in, in following the runs, because they just they love their games. <laughs> they love that there's interest in the games. Uh, so yeah, we, we first got introduced to them last year and then just kept kept the contact. You seem to mesh pretty well. I guess you had similar sense of humor, so you, you know, came through very well on stream. <laughs> Did you learn anything from talking to the developers? Just uh, like about that would help you help you in speedrunning the game? Um, last year, like we learned a lot about just the game development in general and how all of that went down, which is really cool. Um, I think the only trick that they knew of that they shared with us was the, the fan and vacuum thing? Yeah. Um, we messed with it a little bit and didn't find any uh, real uh, real use in the run. But it yeah. was definitely something we didn't know about, and it kind of surprised us. Yeah. It, was, it was even more surprising with like a lot of the tricks we were using, how familiar uh, Dan Paladin was with a lot of them. He's like, oh, yes, I've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> and then we do something else, he says, hmm. Never seen that. Yeah. So it was a. Uh, so they uh, probably learned a lot from you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So, so um, this is a very glitchy game, or it seems like it's a game where you can abuse the mechanics a lot. Mm -hmm. How do you go about finding these exploits? Do you really have a process, or do you just kind of sit down and play and these things happen? Yeah, well, sometimes we come up with bad ideas and try them, and sometimes something bad comes from it. Or we'll just do something and accidentally do something and play it for like three hours and <laughs> find something with yeah. it or nothing. And that's just basically the process. Yeah, it's a, it's a good mix of uh, consciously trying to do things. So like with the energy ball, you're like, wow, if I use this in a corner, I can go up there. Right. What if we don't have a corner? I want to get up there. <laughs> so <laughs> then you start trying to do it in the air or trying to do it off your partner or all kinds of other things. So most of it would start with like, we would stumble upon something by accident and then just try and use it absolutely everywhere and find out what the limitations are. I see. How'd you find that uh, pushing or the making blocks disappear trick? Oh man, that, that, really was, useful. <laughs> that was that great. was great. Um, originally, we found out um, with the ice, if you, how do we do? It? I think we just uh, yeah, started like running, getting like a, a running momentum, and yeah. just like it only I checks the collision back. detection when you're pushing into the wall, but not when you're pushing away from it. Yeah. So the whole point was to get momentum going towards the wall and then hold away. And so we we found it out on ice by complete accident again. We're like, wait a minute. I went halfway into the wall. Can I go all the way into the wall? <laughs> um, the, yeah, and then we just tried to apply that same that same method elsewhere. So, yeah. Well, a fan is like ice. Yeah. This will work. Then we, we thought, how many blocks can we erase? Let's try all <laughs> of them. And spent, uh, it was like three and a half hours yeah, on one stage, completely removed all the blocks, and then finished it and got time bonus. It deleted so, the entire level. Yeah. The entire level. <laughs> the entire level was gone, yeah. except blocks. Uh, you guys seem to co-op a lot of runs together. You work well together as a team. I mean, uh, what do you think makes that work so well? And how do you guys do it? Um, I think a lot of it is that we both have a similar approach to games. Mm -hmm. um, so if I were to play this game with someone a lot less patient <laughs> or a lot less interested than Mecha Richter, and I'd be like, hold on, hold on, I jumped in a weird way and this block moved strange. They'd be like, come on, just get just, me exit. Yeah. Go, yeah. Get, get in there. And with Mecha, he's like, wait, what happened over there? <laughs> I wonder what we can do with that. Um, and that kind of attitude and approach to runs really, really helps. Like when both of you are interested in the same things and have the same yeah. goals, and it, it helps the process a lot. Yeah, and you've been co-oping games for a while, right? You've done, had done other projects together. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think it started in 2012. Yeah, for the Battle AGQ, Toads and Double Dragon. Yeah, for the AGQ bonus stream. Yeah. He's like, let's try this game. It's really fun. And I was like, how are you? OK, you the just went flying through the air and had fun in them. It right. just, it, was, yeah. it all started from there. See, I wonder if you just pick really glitchy games. I mean, you mentioned Battletoads and Double Dragon. That's yeah. another very broken yeah, game. Yeah, that one has yeah. problems. Yeah, definitely having some interesting glitches makes it a lot more fun, for yeah. sure. Yeah, right. we also did TMNT 3, though, yeah. for the NES. And that's not a terribly glitchy game. Um, but that was more just like our chemistry got us through that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like that kind of game better, I, I assume? Or, uh, the glitchy uh, games are yeah, the ones that we have to think. Oh, no, no, the glitchy, the glitchy <laughs> games, yeah. I yeah, guess, the, the gl glitchy games are pretty yeah. fun. Yeah. So how does this, uh, this run compare to the other ones you've co-opted? You, I mean, you seem to really enjoy it. I mean, is this one of the, the more fun ones that you've done? Um, I think, well, one big reason is it's actually really easy to play it online. Like, any yeah. other game we play online, we have to... Uh, you know, try to get it working, and most of the time it doesn't work. Right. And, yeah. you know, playing it in person, we don't have a lot of time because uh, he lives several states away, so getting a chance to play in person is really difficult. Yeah. And even playing in person here, you're still playing on separate consoles just like you do yep. at yeah. home. Right? Yeah. It was really difficult to get a familiar connection here. <laughs> yeah. But we did it. We made it work. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. Really no enjoyed your run. Oh, thanks. Appreciate thank that. You. Thank you very much. And before we move on to our next race, we've got Sent here who's going to talk about some of the prizes that we have available. Oh, hey, Fiesel. It's great to be here. Uh, for everyone who doesn't know, I'm Sent. I handle uh, prizes for Games Done Quick. Uh, Mecca, PJ, that was an amazing run. Uh, lots of thank fun. You. And uh, speaking of some mad cats. Okay. <laughs> I, wow. We have some prizes Strong here shirt. from Mad Cats. They were uh, so great to us. They sent us a lot of really cool stuff that I'd love to just take a moment and talk about. Um, so right now, during Indie Block, we have uh, the Mad Cats ES Pro 1 uh, earbuds. 
and the Mad Cat's hardware uh, hooded uh, sweatshirt here as a uh, pack together. We, we have two of them. Um, and that is $30 during Indie Block, which runs now, which is uh, Battle Block Theater, all the way until Crypto the Necro Dancer tomorrow morning. So plenty of time to get in on that. Um, this is a, it's a wonderfully soft hoodie. It's really great. It comes with this uh, beautiful Mad Cats logo on the front. And uh, what's actually really cool about this thing is there's a little pocket uh, in here on the inside that you can use to hold uh, you know, your cell phone, your iPod, or whatever. Wow. But it has this <laughs> little ring here. So you can actually thread the cable through up oh, inside nice. oh, the wow. hoodie. That's a so, great feature. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, you can keep it, keep it discreet, keep it nice. And uh, here we have the ES Pro uh, earbuds, which go great with that feature. Uh, in addition, they're just uh, you know, a great pair of earbuds. These are, these are some quality earbuds, you know, good sound. They have a detachable microphone, so if you'd like to use them as a headset, <laughs> that, that is certainly an option. Um, and I, I know you're probably thinking, like, well, sent white earbuds and, and a hoodie. You know, I know there, there's that little feature, but well, what's the point of that? Well, because I'm, I'm going to tell you. Everybody knows that when it's time to get serious, you know, you got to put in the earbuds, you got to flip up the hood, <laughs> and then people know you're ready to go. And uh, speaking of getting serious, while we're talking about uh, Mad Cats <laughs> and the great stuff they've given us, uh, I have to bring up this wow. uh, wow. Mad Cats Street Fighter V TE Chun Li Edition stick. It is, it is, uh, it's just so cool. Um, there, there are so many things that make this stick great. Uh, so, if uh, you know you, you play a lot of fighting games, maybe play in some tournaments or something, or, or even casually, you know, occasionally you just you kind of hit that uh, PlayStation button, you kind of hit the start button mid-match. That's no good. This stick, hey, it's got a lock feature. You can just disable that mid-match. Don't have to worry about it. Really convenient. Um, you know, personally, I love Chun Li. Great character. But, hey, maybe like me, you grew up playing Third Strike in the arcade or something. You're really sick of short, short super. <laughs> so, with the included screwdriver, uh, just four quick screws, you could pop off the, uh, the glass faceplate there, and you can change the art without messing with any of uh, the internal components of it. Really easy, really quick. Whatever you'd like to put on there. Uh, and speaking of popping it off, it actually has an internal storage compartment for, you know, maybe some extra buttons, button plugs, uh, the cable actually detaches and you can store it inside the stick for easy transport. Nice. It's uh, really great. Um, speaking of those buttons, uh, this stick is made with Sanwa parts, Sanwa buttons, Sanwa joystick, the arcade standard in Japan. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if you want any good arcade part, you're getting a Sanwa. Um, How do we win this stick? Uh, this stick is $50 at any point through the marathon. It is one any of our grand the okay. Any point oh, in the marathon. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I think it's super cool. Hopefully everyone else does too. And a uh, huge thank you to Mad Cats for providing us with this stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yes, thank you. All right, yeah. All right. Thanks for telling us about the prizes. Yeah. Thank you for Well, up next we got a race of Ori in the Blind Forest. So stick around for that. I think the racers are just about ready to go.